prison break. Prison what do you break. know about it? <laughs> I don't know much. Uh, they're keeping me on the. They did um, uh, reach out, and uh, there's something cooking, from what I hear, for next year. So let's see. I guess this will be kind of cool to get the whole gang back together. Would that work logistically with your work on this we show? We hope. You know, in. I don't, let's figure out, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I, um, I would love to see these guys, I, they're my brothers. Uh, these are people that I, they were at the beginning of my career. That was my very first show and one that I'm very proud of. Um, the fact that the, uh, the fans have been wanting to bring back the show, is it's, it's the reason why apparently Fox is doing it because yeah, uh, people just asking in their social media and wondering why, why, why. I go, wow, it's 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 it's, it's amazing to be part of a show that it's been 10 years since we started shooting it. We shot it 10 years ago. We've been off the air since 2009, and people are. I see young people that now they're in their 15 or 14, and there were four when I started shooting the show and they're like, we're a big fan of Sucre and all the characters, so anyway. And Dominic and Wentworth are both on no, that new show. That, uh, yes, yeah, so Legends tomorrow. of Tomorrow. Yeah. Any talk that maybe you could do a guest on that? Uh, <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I talk to, um, to um, Dom every so often, so they're having a great time. And actually I was talking to Robert Nepper yesterday. He's in Thailand doing a movie. So uh, I don't know if they're going to want the whole Prison Break cast on <laughs> playing villains <laughs> playing villains or, or heroes but I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed I have to say that I wouldn't be opposed so talk talk a little bit about your character on this it's so funny with the mustache yeah, I miss my stash. oh I have a whole you don't even know baby I have a whole box full of them and I wake up in the morning I go which one do I put on today oh, I'm, I'm having a blast I'm having Comedy is something that I, I, I didn't know I could do. Eva has given me the opportunity. I've done the comedy before. I've done a few things. I'm not saying I'm a comedian. I just have a great group of writers that are phenomenal. And I've been wanting to push myself to these limits. And so far, knock on wood, things are coming out good. Um, my character, Rodrigo Suarez, he's the villain in the soap opera, in the telenovela. But behind the scenes, he's the sweetest guy ever. He's got a beautiful cat that's called Hugo. He, he's all about peace and love. He's an actor. He's very dramatic and sensitive. Um, I think he's the diva, but the the, the under the undertone diva, um, and and he just wants to be accepted as an actor. He's like, which is funny because it's. But I've always said I've known Eva for many years, and she would always say, you know why? She was, I always complain to her. Why am I always playing the villain? Why am I opening? I, I can. Why can I be Rachel McAdams? boyfriend why can't I be Cameron Diaz's best friend you know I can I can do the notebook part too I can I can smile I can you know um, but anyway it's I'm having a great time I'm playing two roles the dichotomy is phenomenal I mean we're playing with an amazing cast everybody's funny watch these guys they're brilliant I sometimes feel like um, I, I go what am I doing here how did I get into this and they bring my A game because it's 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 really 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 good. Did you uh, model Rodrigo after any telenovela actors you've seen in the past? Um, well, it's funny that you say that. I, do, I used to watch a telenovela called uh, Los Ricos También Lloran, and there was one of my other favorites too, um, uh, Chris, Cristina Bazan. So I grew up watching telenovelas in Puerto Rico. I would come home. And mom was watching it, and there was only two TVs at home. So they watch with mom or watch with dad. And I was always watching the news, so I'd rather watch the telenovela. Um, and I, I had a lot, I don't have a specific character, but I had a collage of many that are still embedded in me. So I know where to pull from. Another, I'll ask you your favorite love song. My favorite love song? Faithfully by Journey. Are there going to be? Best band ever. Are there going to be any cameos by like popular telenovela stars? You know what? We have a show called um, Rivals in which we have an amazing cast. Uh, of the, basically, what it is, it's a whole competition between another soap opera that comes in and we want to build houses. And we have cameos from um, Kate del Castillo, which is she's very known in the, in, the, in the Latin community. And she's actually in a movie called Los, uh, Los 33, the 33. 
and uh, Carlos Ponce is also in it. Um, so, and hopefully we'll get, you know what, it'll become one of those things that once we are in the air and people see how amazing we are, everybody might want to jump in. Who knows, maybe Matt Damon will want to do something. Here you go, Matt, wherever you're looking. Maybe you want to come and learn some Spanish and do a little bit cameo in the novela and then outside. So, who knows?